GM, GM fam, we are live with your host, Phil X Contreras, where we talk about Solana NFTs, the love, the drama, and the vibes. We're going to talk about some Solana new domain names, upcoming NFT mints, Clano news, and probably more than 10 NFTs that we're going to look at. That's basically going to be like the main focus right now. So let's first start off with what's going on in Solana. So right now we have Solana in some interesting data. So we went all the way up to over 700,000 as far as the value. And we have now gone down. You can see it dipping as far as the actual USD value in Solana in the NFT market. So there's a little dip happening. I wonder where that's going with actual Solana token. Uh, we did see a little bit of dip going from like 24 uh, priced Solana all the way down to about 22 Solana. So it might get a little bit interesting to where this might take us in the next week or so. Now, let's look at some news in Solana. All right, we have Bonksy. Bonksy has came out with some news. They basically said, the moment you've all been waiting for, you'll be able to receive your Bonksy on Monday the 30th. Not a hype of moon. So we were expecting this. It's finally coming back. And I can't wait to see those reveals uh, who knows who has John Lee's NFT, who has Scum's NFT, but it's going to get wild. It's going to get crazy. These these prices of these actual one-on-one arts are going to be probably higher than what's what's expected. Maybe, you know, people probably think it's going to be 20 Solana, but I think it's going to be higher than for the one-on-one arts. The regular ones is probably going to be, you know, obviously probably around that range. But now, when our reveal happens, what's most likely going to happen the NFTs are probably going to dip during them. It happens a lot every time these things happen. I won't be surprised if these NFTs start dipping right after our art reveal. So we're going to check that out later on in the other screen after I go through this stuff. All right, so the next thing that I do want to talk about is ANS protocol. This one's interesting because I did not expect something like this could occur. He says, what do you think would be the best TLD to launch? So what does he mean by that? All right, first, ANS is an alternative name service domains for the community. What does that mean? Well, you can see all of us, we have philxcontreras.soul, right? Hopefully that's not taken. But you have um, soul, big rain, dot soul, different people having dot soul as their domain names where you can send Solana and whatnot. This right here is going to be a game changer if it's true and what it might look like. They are basically saying that you can basically have a domain name under your community. And guess who is going to be the one that's going to already put, be pushing this? ABCs. ABC NFT. So right here, you can always see people putting dot .abc, .abc, <laughs> Mr. Game .abc. And, and man, I... When I saw crypto dinos dot abc, I knew I knew I I do I found this out before a lot a lot of people did. Crypto Dino changed his name to dot abc, and I was skeptical on what the hell was going on there. Now this is basically what's happening. Everyone's gonna be part of this domain. And look at this community. These are the only guys throwing this down on ANS. This is gonna get wild. You're gonna see dot smb probably dot monkey dow. You're probably gonna see dot soul army dot bonksies dot subber key i mean dot uh uh bodogos who knows man it's gonna be really great to see this stuff happening i don't know how they're gonna build this out but i'm i'm fascinated with this to be honest and i i can't wait to see this one all right so let me know what you think of that one actually on the comments below let me know but we have some clean updates from the Clano guys, this guy named Andrew, he is basically the CEO. He's coming out. He made his big announcement, huge um, drum roll. Uh, this guy had this huge thread. I read it all because I have no life on what he did. So basically to take into like, a, I guess, you know, short term to describe what's going on here. He basically said like he launched a hedge fund. He did a lot of cool things. Partner, managing director at his own firm. He helped clients deployed 500 millions in numerous of deals and invested in emerging markets 
And he's basically telling us that, you know, this is this is an area we have to adapt quickly. The stat we know that from NFTs and what how things get crazy, just like Community 3 and all that nonsense the, uh, yesterday. Things move. Things move bad. Things move good. So he is experienced in this type of field. If you want to find Alpha, you go where the few dare, which is basically this. <laughs> we got Web3, NFTs, crypto. All of the bunk entrepreneurs, investors here, and um, they haven't dug in. The opportunities in this space are immense. So this guy is really, this is the type of person you really, you know, want who's like really interested in Web3, really know what's going on here. And it's, it's basically the main dude in Clayton which is one of the biggest projects that came to Solana. And it's going to revolutionize a lot of things as far as animation in this ecosystem and who knows maybe another change too but as a creative studio the claim source is developing a high quality product hand in hand with its community traditionally studios take shots in the dark investing millions building assets and releasing content hoping for a hit the investment is made gambling on success web 2.0 improved internet speeds, soft content distribution improving consumer choice reducing intermediate costs yet production costs are still high and committed for long periods before release Web3 is solving this with community and artist empowerment. And as you can see, Clanosaurus was basically that. We had all these artists come with one-on-one -on -one arts, displaying it, selling it. They were selling for 150 soul, 200 soul. People were direct relationships with the artists, and the artists were empowered through that. People loved their art. There was no intermediation between that and the community. This is what he's basically talking about, how we are really together within this project. So, uh, Clayton Soros is at the forefront of this ideal. Some of the top talent in the industry are on this team. We, we've seen it. These guys are you know huge, legit people from the professional field. Ours in the space are empowered to create freely, and Clayton Soros, the results are a testament to that. Clayinosaurus is being designed for content production, toys, merchandise, and gaming, and much more. We have fun to the, uh, we have fun with the details, but there is a big picture. We're building backwards, flipping the script. Web3 community feedback loop optimizes growth. So ask any angel investor what they look for. Quality team before anything else. Privilege. Clayinosaurus has that, and basically saying that that's why he's in. And he Clayinosaurus mint at the low, and we've seen it, and they're still here. So uh, let's, let's just keep going on. And the team has asked me to observe. Um, it's going in and basically saying he's in. So awesome. Cool. Awesome. I can't wait to see what this guy does. I'm, hope I'm hoping he's ready for the Solana NFT community because sometimes they're, they're very passionate. We, we know passionate people. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So, so uh, maybe he's been in the space for a long time. He already knows how the space works here. And uh, I'm sure he will be able to handle all, all, all of that, the community. But, you know, passionate because we, we love it. If people love what about Solana. They love NFTs. So, and sometimes it's not good. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes you just, you know, Frank. Frank the guy, he always gets hits on people. You know, you got pros and cons, whatever. But, all right, so let's get on to the mints. What, there's a lot of mints happening. I got it all up into one platform right now. I don't really like, you know, content, editing content on all this stuff. I just like to get down and down in 30 real raw on what I think about it. And we'll just go through it one by one. All right. So this this first one is called The Bastards. And The Bastards came out with this pretty cool trailer. I can uh, shows a nice animation on how this art is going to be portrayed. It looks pretty cool. Uh, they they have some interesting drawings right there. They have uh, the type of cowboy look. And, I mean, we don't have much about this, but it looks awesome. I mean, I haven't really seen this type of look in Solana yet. And let's just get into it more closely. <laughs> you got Clanosaurus right there. You got OK Bears. So they, they kind of know what's going on. You got the D-Gens as well in there. You got, I think I saw a box in the, oh my God, what just happened to Clayno? We'll do that. Uh, all right. So uh, that looked like a pretty cool trailer. So they said the Bass of Central Animation scaled to storytelling and the range universe building. Interesting. As you can see, not much info. Who are they following? Following this one dude named EG, former poker pro founder. Okay. 
That's quite interesting. And he's being followed by quite a few people. So he does have connections around this group of people. General Soul, uh, you have Cabination, you have Curry, you have Soul Big Brain, Jersey. He's connected. Dino as well. This guy's connected. This guy uh, clearly knows, you know, you know who to connect with and what 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 to build around. And you got sixty six mutual following on a seven thousand following list. That's kind of I think you know maybe a little bit okay ratio, not bad. So we're gonna check on this a little bit more and see what else they're gonna come out with. They just came out. I'm gonna keep it in my notes. Keep an eye for it. See how this grows as far as the project. All right, so. The next project is called Pirate Squad. We talked about this a little bit yesterday with uh, Zircon, and Zircon played on this game a while ago. They've expanded a lot further than what it is now. Uh, Pirate Squad, let's just look at the website. I mean, this this one is more gamified, I would say. I'm not, I'm not a person who's really into this uh, game, gaming type of world. Because I get addicted. I was addicted to Halo uh, back in the day. I was a big player in Halo. I would play all night, all day. And that's why I kind of like just, just <laughs> try to remove myself because I am uh, I used to be a big gamer. And I, I get addicted real quick. All right. So Holy Empire Squ Squad NFT will give you many advantages such as ability to wager real tokens, NFT access to exclusive content, levels, increased rewards with wonderful visual from Experience Studio developing exclusive mini games. GameFi interesting interesting stuff all right so if i can go back to where i was that's the only thing that um i'm not really good with uh with this type of uh here we go all right so pirate squad uh pirate theme game fight hub and as you can see here's a trailer as well uh way of how they're gonna present this type of game mini games it looks pretty cool it's, it's gonna be around pirates uh, obviously and they seem to gather a lot of community members as well. It's a 45 type of mutual following. It's not as high as the last one. And they say here, we hope you have been keeping those decks clean and are ready for some more treasure. As our first week of games, quests come close. We want to share some truly amazing metrics. 3,000 players. Interesting. And they have done 7,500 uh, quests done. 3,000 raffle tickets. So uh, and it's slowly growing into, into something. So... Overall, I mean, if this is the if this is the art, I mean, uh, uh, it's okay, I guess. But anyways, I want to move on to the next one. Pirate Squad, another one to probably look into probably later on. All right, so this one is called The One. The One is a NFT coming out from uh, XNFT. So you have Armani here who's building out an NFT backpack. NFT backpack is the best way to explain NFT backpack is it's like a wallet, but a wallet that has a lot more than just NFTs and Solana. So you have you have you have MetaMask who basically created the wallet version one where you have cryptocurrency. Then you have Phantom that basically created cryptocurrency and nfts in a wallet which you probably use and you can see nfts on that second tab what x nft backpack is doing is they are creating a third generation type of wallet where you can have dApps within that wallet so if you actually go and download the app this this wallet you will see a third option of apps inside that wallet where you can stake you can see the nft stills you can do a whole bunch of things you can play music within a wallet you can play games without within a wallet it's a different type of world you can have ethereum and polygon as well it's all multi-chain it's cool it's really cool uh it's invite right now because they're still beta testing but they're coming out with a collection for their x nft backpack and it's called the one and this one is definitely going to be a big hitter, in my belief, because of the wallet they're building. They have over 80, almost 90 mutual following here. They have 11K followers. And usually this type of stuff is, you know, people are not really interested in it because it's more of like a developer type of uh, product that's being developed. But there's a lot of people following this. A lot of people are interested in this. And... The one is definitely something to look out. They only have one picture of it, one Twitter thread on this. That's it. 
So, so it's not much, but definitely look out for this one because this one's going to be, I, I believe, a big one. I believe this is going to be a big one as far as the hype. So uh, we'll see what that goes. All right, so this next one is called Toonies. Toonies is basically more like a one-on-one type of project. And Solana, you have Scum Soul it's kind of related into this. It's a brand by No Legs and Time Thief FBNB project coming too soon. So here it is. These are the Toonies. Different type of art. It's, a, it's like a more like clayish, um, really popping out there in front of you. Very different from everything else you've seen. And these artists, again, you know, the, the, it seems like they're kind of friends with Scum Soul as well. But right here you have, let's see, I'm um, going and you have the, the toy here, which is kind of cool. But overall, they've done a lot of collaborations as well. And it just, you know, it, it does look pretty cool. And I'm going to wait and see how this mint does. And then maybe look further into it and see how this, this does after mint. So interesting project. Looks really cool. Again, a little bit more focused on the, on, I would say, like on the one on one style type of play here. Now, the next one is called Anon. And what is Anon? It's basically created from Ghost Kid Dao. And oh, did I just miss? Oh, no, okay, I didn't miss one. All right. So, Anon unveiled the talent of Andalix, the artist behind the Anon collection. His creations reveal his fascination for masks just like us. Interesting. This overall looks cool, man. I mean, just the way they've they've created this and made this just looks enormously nice. I mean, I enjoy this art. And you can see the Ghost Kid Dao background right behind here, which is overall just cool. I used to be part of Ghost Kid Dao. Those guys are like raiders, man. They they were they were most known raiders, I, I would say maybe like four months ago. And they have this token called Boo. Which you can be, you have to stake for you know three or thirty days, and you just it, it was a cool experiment on what they were doing. So I'm glad that they're finally doing something else and expanding their brand. And overall, just this art is made. Just look at that man; it's sick as hell. I definitely enjoyed that that the little type of vibe, spontaneous type of look. And you know we don't really know. Much. <laughs> You know, today's it's built from an, from an actual project that has built. You can kind of say they're kind of OG in Solana and are still here every, even after the eight dollar post FTX mint. So we are still waiting on what these guys are gonna build behind this project. Overall, the art looks great. All right, so Mindfolk is another project that is coming out. What is Mindfolk? It is actually an OG project that kind of almost fell i would say it grew to like 180 200 solana somewhere there this project was basically competing against the monkeys the solana monkey business and they fell all the way down to like five soul three five two it was it was an enormous drop and i overall i thought they were dead a lot of people thought they were dead but they're coming back and they're coming back with a movement into the renaissance building state of one artwork by Jurgens, and here they're basically saying our IP is exceptionally unique, can greatly influence both our emotions. Meticulously selects his lines and colors, so they're really focused on how they're actually creating this. Right here. Uh, you got the mind station. I mean, it, I mean, overall, they they're definitely pushing out content and trying to really um, connect with the community here. And down here, you can see, you know. Um, the Renaissance journey so far in numbers, 48,000 connect applications, 26,000 followers on Twitter. Uh, you have 26,000 Discord members, engagement up now. You get four sold floor price from whitelist. It's getting it's getting interesting for, for these guys. But overall, let's find out what they're doing. I'm still going to you know wait until what they're going to build on here. But overall, just great, great stuff to see that they're still building here as well. All right. So. That is the Mind Folk Mint coming out. And we also have this next one called Pop. Pop is changing the way you think about balloons on Solana from the same team that brought you SC Poker Club. So SC Poker Club uh, basically was 24-7 live poker. And you can see some people doing this on, on, on live streams, playing poker on Solana. It was pretty popular. 
and they're finally, you know, coming out with something else called pop. There's no template, there's no chilling, there's no influencers, pop. And, uh, you know, you have right here, you know, people playing as well, dreaming. It's also another one that, you know, could potentially become another project that kind of brings out, I guess, uh, I say, I don't know if the, I don't know if gambling is the right word, but we'll find out. I mean, you have Jersey on here as well, playing this, um, game. So it's another interesting one as well. And we'll see how this one does, what else they're going to come out with this project. All right. So Soul Casino is another one that's coming out. Soul Casino is a first licensed live casino sports book. And oh, I just skipped it. And crash playable directly with your Web3 Solana wallets. All right. So this one also seems kind of interesting. Another casino play. I am not really in casino games. Uh, I'm not really into those type of projects. But I always tend to look at what they're doing. I did get into one called DJ and Fat Cats back in the day. But after that, I didn't really, you know, get into any type of casino play. I just, I'm not really, I don't want to say it's not interested, but I'm not really into that industry. And, and I'm, I'm focused on other things. These casino type of NFTs, which uh, Zircon talked to me about yesterday, if you pick the right one, they could definitely grow a lot. And then they can give revenue at the same time, but it also can be, you know, very dangerous at the same time because it's it's very highly competitive. It's a competitive world out there. But let's look at what the website actually shows right here. So, uh, and again, Soul Casino actually, you know, sounds pretty legit. People have been talking about them everywhere, and they have a big following as well. And you can see right here, you know, all, all the games. You just this is very live right here. These guys are definitely legit. And I think this is the one that actually built out an actual legit area in um in one of, in Kuroko Islands. So if that is true, I mean these guys are actually for real. So another interesting mint that's happening as well. All right, so the next one is Wasta Core. Wasta Core, uh, this dude, man, this this is coming from one of the guys who built his name on Solana. He built a huge community. I heard of this man for a long time, probably for like the last three months. And just seeing him grow was kind of, you know, very, very nice to see. Come from nothing to something. And not in the OG world, but he came in during this time frame. So it kind of comes to show that anyone can really, like, if they really put their hard work into it, they can really grow a name in the ecosystem. So now he's building off an NFT project that's basically going to be built around his community and then we're going to see where that takes him as well. All that came out. He's putting out some sneak peeks for the community. And we're just going to wait. We're just going to wait and see how it is. And that's basically the actual art right there for his project. Which is, uh, it's you know, it's, it's different. I haven't seen it. Human beings. But it's not like the gods. A lot of people who do human beings, they, they tend to type of resemble the gods. Muted the whole time. Who, me? I'm muted? How am I muted? Uh, let me see. Let me, hopefully, I haven't been muted, man. If I've been muted, that, that would suck. Uh, test, 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 test. It doesn't say I'm muted. I seem to be on. Oh, it's, it's you. Okay, thank God. Thank God. Man, you scared me, man. <laughs> but, yeah, Wasta Core. Definitely uh, another project that I'm looking, I'm looking into. Because I'm, I'm kind of big in these community type of projects, as you could probably tell. And I want to see how the community responds to this. He has, he definitely has. And let me see if I can actually find his name here. Uh, let's see, got 74 following. Okay, let's see if we can find Wasta around here. I'm sure we can find the dude. And we can see, we can see how much he's grown. Because last time it was like, he was like at 1,000. And let's, let's just see what his actual f following is now. Because... This dude, man, I've, if I could find him, dude, I could just show you what it is right now. Man, how? Oh, here we go. I found him. All right, so 7,000, man. Yeah, he freaking grew. 62 mutual followings. Creator of Wasta Group. Awesome. So you can apply right here. Apply now. Wasta Core. Basically tell them, you know, what you do and all that stuff. And, you know, hopefully you get approved as well for the project. All right. So this other one is called 
Wolf Capital. And Wolf Capital is also another interesting mint because it's, it has a huge network following. Net, here we go. Wolf Capital basically is coming out with a, a, a pixelated type of art project. They're a lending analytics platform. So they're really focused on just that one niche. And supposedly a lot of people, you know, enjoy enjoy this type of analytics because it, it'll, it comb combines all these type of lending protocols and it shows you like the best ones to, to actually get in and lend. So that is going to be a, a, like, I would say like it's almost like an aggregator to where you can actually look at different um, uh, protocols and then see which one's the best one, like Sharkify or something else and yada, yada. Now, these guys have a much of following of 63 and a 9,000 following overall. I mean, I think that's, you know, pretty good. And these guys, I've heard of them from people that I know, and they actually know the people and like them. So take it for what it's worth. Networking does mean a lot, but we don't know who they are. I don't know who they are, but we shall see something to look out for as well. All right. So this next one is called Giga Dow. Giga Dow is probably the biggest one in, well, I don't want to say the biggest one, right? Because it's more, more coming out. So, but it is one of the biggest ones coming out. I think this one is definitely having a lot of hype. In some DAOs that I've been to, Monkey DAO, I've you know I've people were trying to get in, into this mint, and they have a mutual following of almost ninety as well, sixteen k following. The mutual following is the main thing I try to look at, see who's who's looking into this project, and that's a lot of names. This these people are basically building out a platform where you can basically treat NFTs like a DAX. It's kind of you know in a way it's kind of uh, confusing to think about, but. You can basically fractionalize it. You could take a margin. It's just a lot of crazy stuff that you can, I thought was not possible, that it will be possible with GigaDAO. And these guys, it says right here, uh, let's see. Uh, hopefully we can see right here. Yeah, I mean, we could, but I could basically explain everything right now just on what they're really building. But NFT decks. Oh, here we go. So uh, we've got the white paper right here. So GigaDAO. Fractionalized NFT decentralized exchange is a pioneering platform offering the first and only exchange for Solana fractionalized NFTs, providing a unique exciting platform. In addition, Gigadex is designed to be one of the most robust, compressive exchanges on Solana. This, you know, again, the one thing I'm worried about, which you know, I'm not saying about Gigadex, I'm saying overall, is how liquidity is going to change in NFTs because they're basically like tokens. You know, there's almost like cryptocurrency. So it's kind of it's kind of weird to see how they're not going to be kind of liquid anymore. It's going to be more like liquid, but we'll see how that plays out. Overall, I think it's going to be a really cool, interesting way of playing with Solana NFTs. And I think uh, also the the margin trading is something I haven't really seen how this is going to play out, and it's going to be also. Fascinating to watch. Before you begin margin, please make sure you read margin. Yeah, obviously, I don't, I don't do any of that. <laughs> just, to, just let you know that's not my cup of tea. But, but margin will be available shortly after launch of Giga Dex and spot trading. At which point this section will be updated. Interesting lending as well. So, cool stuff. I think you know I can, I can read all this and it'll probably take like an hour or so. But you can take a look at it and read more up on it. So. One of the big ones. I can say that right now going through all these entities. All right. So Sujuko. This one is also interesting as well because you're able to short NFTs now. Next generation derivative trading platform for NFTs. Long, short, major collections with up to 10x leverage. This is going to be crazy, man. Shorting NFTs. Uh, dude, just another protocol with this. And, you know, they're basically like focused on this. So. Imagine shorting, I don't know, Monkey Dow. <laughs> my my favorite. <laughs> Monkey Dow. The there there's there's drama over royalties like there usually is. And there's 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 bad sentiment on Twitter, and you're starting to see that bad sentiment coming out. And then people are gonna vote on whether Monkey Dow 
is going to move out of so out of the actual original dev royalty platform into a new pfp yeah that right there you can short and play along with that and see where that goes and and that's always a topic every year so i i, I actually can't wait to see this one because i'm really interested in the shorting aspect for sojiko here and we'll definitely see how this plays out so uh next one Solana bunk business. Okay, so this one is the. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's a very degen play. Uh, there's 14 mutual followings. Not a lot. It's 4,800 followers. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about Solana bunk business. And this is this is why it has attention in some way. These guys are in bunk, and they're building like a derivative of Solana monkey business and Solana. But this is gonna be on bunk. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be. Very degen. They got these these pixelated type of dogs uh, on here. And overall, I mean, I just uh, if if it's free, I mean, I would definitely do it. But oh, I thought it was pixelated. I, I guess it's probably not. But five thousand dogs ready to die. <laughs> this pop, dude, man, it's it's probably who who are they following here? Solana Bonk business. You got Dookie, Karudu, Bonk, Monkey Dow. Uh, I'm, okay, we'll see how this plays out, but um, definitely degen, man, until we know exactly what's going on. So, interesting, <laughs> interesting <laughs> political term. But All right, so the next one is Sandbar. Sandbar is coming out from this guy named Soul Buckets. Soul Buckets, he's an OG in Solana. Soul Buckets came out strong from the Monkey Dot community. I, I still think it's a salamander PFP, but it's supposedly a monkey. This guy is has networked tremendously with people. I mean, dude, just if you want to talk about the definition of networking and what networking can do for a project, this guy launched this project here. And look at the network. <laughs> the 97 people following this project. And it's came out really with nothing yet. There's really been no updates. You have Gigadow, who has 90 mutual following in my list, and they're building some crazy stuff. They already showed it. This, 97 mutual following, that's networking. So if and, and if, you, if you want to get something out of this, if you're on Solana, network. Because <laughs> network means a lot. And this is what this guy did all the time. And I could, you know, in Twitter groups, he's everywhere. I see him. Uh, cool dude. Uh, we never actually really talked one-to-one, -one, but... Um, I've been in the same Twitter groups um, with him. I don't even think he knows I'm um I'm real or I'm existent. But anyways, uh, this is uh they they came out with an actual video about it. They also collabed with Elixir, which is really cool. And obviously Monkey Dow because he's coming from Monkey Dow. And this this one one art as well that came out. The guy made some money off this on Exchange sixty five Solana. So help out one on one arts. You can submit your whitelist application as well. I would recommend you submit your whitelist application. Just a suggestion. I'm not saying buy one. I'm just, you know, make, just get just for the application, basically. And the 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 way the way this is basically um, themed is really cool as well. I mean, it's more of like an islands type of look. And you can see right here, this is actually the video trailer on how, you know, what they're wanting to present here. And you got the golden crabs. You got the one palm tree in the middle. The doves, and you know it's it's getting that type type of you know, laid back vibe. So the guy also docks as well, just for this project. And I just thought he would never dox, and here we are, him doxed. But that is basically what the project is. We just went through a whole bunch of projects, man, and my mouth literally needs some water right now. But anyways, that is basically everything on that on what's going on with NFT mints and what has happened with some news as far as Clanosaurus, that ABC one. And you can see here we have projects almost at the red right now, still at the red. A lot of them have come down as Solana has come up to $23, $24. And we have some interesting, one, it was interesting ones here, but Clanosaurus has gone up tremendously ever since that C CEO Chief Degen Officer announcement. They went from 19 Solana all the way to 32 Solana. And this is 
probably more value than what this is in 41 to be honest with you so if i look in soul sniper and see what the actual price in usd value is it is probably a lot higher than what it was previously so let's see clean us right here as far as usd value let's see where it's at it's probably at, at its highest i'm gonna guess that yeah it's it's basically right up there at its, at its highest so it's at 784 i mean yeah okay so even even steven at the different soul soul price so this is definitely good news very uh bullish on this project i enjoy this project i've been talking about this project for a while the clay clay makers as well have gone up and we have as far as in the red the projects that i'm trying to really let just like you know understand is one is lunar lunar is definitely one of them it I've, i bought a couple of them I'm, I'm probably gonna buy one more at some point maybe this week or next week and just keep adding to this collection i mean people are probably sick and tired of me talking about lunar but i just enjoyed the art i enjoyed the zodiac signs and i am really interested in what crypto dino is bringing out this guy again this is when I saw dot ABC, I was so curious on why he changed to ABC. Now I can see why after I just talked about that whole news with that one protocol that they're coming out with community domain. And this is basically it. This is basically it. So I kind of knew I was not, I was not a, a conspiracy theorist. Something came along with it. So, um, yeah, I'm interested in what this guy's bringing out. He made an announcement that he's going to drop some Lunar. He's going to drop some Hades. He's going to drop some Bonk on the holders here. The snapshot happened. And I made a live video here thinking that, you know, I was thinking it was going to drop hard after that announcement. And it didn't. But it's finally showing a slow progress downhill. And I think the reason why it's slower than what, I've, what, I, than what I usually see, like, for example, like Tail Oil, when, when they finally uh, had their snapshots, this thing freaking fell all the way floor. This one had a slower one, and I think the reason was because people are still buying into this project. So, and it's slowly finally coming down to seven. So, overall, um, I I I want to see what he's gonna build and, and what it's gonna be. If it's if it's you know it's not gonna be what I think it is, I'm probably gonna sell half of it. We'll see. We'll see where where it goes from there. But. The other one that I'm, I've I've been looking at is Bonxies, Bonxies because I'm just interested in the whole decentralized type of play here. And what I mean is, Bonxies was created for the community. And when I say that, I mean that there's really no team behind Bonxies. And if I can find this project too, oh, here we go. And they finally announced saying that the developers for Bonxies are waiting. Who's going to develop on top of Bonxy, which no one really knows yet because no one maybe ha haven't really um, rose their hand to do it. It's a decentralized type of NFT. So whoever builds on it, the collection gets incentivized. So if I'm holding 30 Bonxies, why not build on it to uh, create appreciation on my Bonxy NFT? So that's the one thing that's being pretty much anyone's waiting on, like what's going to happen here. So this that's it's a risk. Obviously, it's a risk, but I I I I definitely like this because it's like Bonksies, it's the Bonk ABC, maybe probably. So we'll see. But that is basically uh, the main tools that I'm looking at. There's a lot of projects out there in the red. You got Metaplex, you got uh, Saga Pass, and I hope Saga Pass actually does come down. Uh, they they. It was here. I was starting. I was getting ready to buy one and just psh, explore it again. It's finally coming back down. There's probably one I'll probably bid at at a at a low, a low four and see if people will expect this. Uh, actually, pick it up because the volume's low. It's like 648. So that's gonna be probably one I'm, I'm definitely gonna look at. And um, we have Lily as well. Kind of. I mean, I'm I'm still debating on this one. Still waiting. Um, I, I did have one. I, I actually I do have one still. So I'm um, I'm seeing if I'm gonna buy a second one or not. We'll see. We'll see. And that is basically you know overall everything that I'm looking at right here. We talked a lot about an upcoming NFTs. My mouth is so dry right now, man. Just <laughs> I'm trying to keep talk. Oh, Maddie's Maddie's this one. Uh, so much fun happened with this dude. I can't believe he's still alive, but. 
Um, it's finally coming down to dude. If this goes down to like two soul or one soul, I'm pro I'm probably gonna win because I'm interested in the, the the whole tokenomics of the investment uh, ventures in this project. But have but just trying to trade this at some point maybe. But we'll see. We'll see. Will we? But that is everything I have. If there's anything you want me to talk about, let me know, and I'll gladly research and look into it. Overall. Guys, much love. I go live Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays around this time. Tuesdays and Thursdays is Vibes Podcast where I talk with some friends. Discord below. Join our team, our chats, and everything on, on that Discord where we just hang out and chill. And overall, much love and peace out till tomorrow. Bam. Out. Laters.